everybody. Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this lovely little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video, we're taking a look at a track from the 1980s and from the band ZZ Top once again. This one's called Sharp Dressed Man from their album Eliminator, which uh, turned out to be one of their biggest albums back in the 80s. And of course, Sharp Dressed Man would apply to me and my RPM wear. <laughs> You can get Rock and Pop Mandolin t-shirts and hoodies and a host of other things for yourself. The link is down below and they're all quite affordable and they make re really great holiday presents, so check them out. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner. Really helps this channel to continue to grow. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back. But check out those other links down below, including the link to my Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin video lesson series. That is still only $29.99. It's a great deal for lessons that take you from beginner to intermediate level on the mandolin. Also down below, a link to my Patreon page where you can get tabs for this song and a host of other songs over on my Patreon page. Mandolin tabs, many of them I've done by myself and you can't find them anywhere else. Many of those tabs, so check that out. The link to my Patreon page is down below. Also down below, you can check out links to some of my affiliates like uh, Sweetwater and Singular Sound, the makers of the Beat Buddy. I use the Beat Buddy in that opening track off of this uh, off this video with uh, Sharp Dressed Man. You can see how good the Beat Buddy sounds, and if you want to get one for yourself, the link is down below. But that's enough business. Let's take a look at this ZZ Top song for mandolin called Sharp Dressed Man here on RPM. <laughs> All right, Sharp Dressed Man is a really fun song to play on the mandolin, and it, it works surprisingly well, even if you don't have that distortion that Billy Gibbons has on the original track by ZZ Top, but it's a lot of fun, and you can even use some double stops. All right, so the main lick goes. Now, what you can do there, well, I'll, sh I'll show you the pattern first, and then I'll show you what you can do with some double stop ideas for that, all right? So this is in the key of C, and I'm starting off with kind of a C bar chord here, or what I call a C bar chord. It's sort of the top half of that C chord you would play at the fifth fret, right? Well, I'm just concentrating on these two strings here, the G string and the D string, both at the fifth fret. All right, and you can bar that with one finger. I'm barring it here with my third finger, all right? So, right, start off with that. Then you're gonna jump up to the third fret and the first fret of your D string. So, that's your pattern there, all right? So, like that, okay? now. If you want to use a double stop in there, there are several ideas that you can use. Billy Gibbons uses a double stop on the guitar on the original track, and he's doing a C and an F double stop like this on that part. So he's going, and I'll do it slowly here, so. Right, he's doing like. So you can do that on the mandolin, but I find that a little bit difficult, all right? So here, those double stops are fifth fret and third fret, and then third fret and first fret. All right, so start off with the C, and you end up going back to that C again quickly, so. And then there's a little lick that goes, it's kind of a hammer on lick. I'll show you that in a second. Now, you can use some other double stops as well that work a little better from the mandolin, I think, or you could just play single notes there. All right, you could just play it with those single notes here, or you can play it with that open A string, because that also works as a double stop on that chord there. That's an F chord, so you can go like that. That sounds pretty cool too, right? And then just hit that as a one note there on the first fret. So that double stop there is third fret on the D and open A. So here, now you can do that. Or one other double stop idea, just bar those chords there. That's the one I prefer the most, or that's the one I prefer here. Right? So there you're catching both of those strings at the third fret and the first fret. 
all right, of your middle strings here, your D and your A, right? So, right? Like that, okay? And that little kind of pickup lick goes, it's got a little bit of a hammer on there. So you go down to the G and you hit that third fret there on the G string and then to the fifth fret there, ending up on that C note again. And you can even hit that C double stop chord there, but I'm doing like that. So it goes like this. So you're hammering there. So I'm not picking all of those notes, right? I'm going, right? Like that, slowly. And that is the signature riff from this song, Sharp Dressed Man. All right, now going into the verses, we start off with that little pickup lick, but then in the verses, it's just fairly easy. It's just going to a C chord for most of it, so, right? And then, and it's very choppy, it's very staccato, so, cheap shirt, new shoes, whatever the lyrics are, I don't know. Right, so you're just going to that C chord first, like this, two times, three times, no, two times, and then, right? So that is going open G, five, three, and now what you're playing there is a B flat chord. All right, so B flat chord is three, three, and five on your A string there, so. All right, from the beginning of the verses, C chord, C chord, and then B flat chord, and now to an F chord. And you can play that two ways. I'm playing the open F right here. Fifth fret, third fret, open A, and first fret there on the E. Or you can play it like a bar chord there, which is fifth fret, third fret, third fret. Okay, so watch. Here again, the verse pattern. down to that F. Okay, and from there you go. Okay, so you're moving from F to G a couple of times, like that. Da, 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 da. And your G chord is just the seventh fret here now of your G string and your root there, which is the fifth fret of the D. So from the F, and then on the third one, back to the C chord again. So he goes like that. And then tsh, tsh, the drums come in and da, 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 da. back to that riff again, the opening riff. So one more time through the verses. Right? C chord, B flat chord to the F chord, F to G. F to C, just the once on the C, or twice, I guess, da, 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 like that. And there you have it, the verses for this song. All right, Billy Gibbons' solo is pretty simple. He actually plays it with a slide on the guitar, I think, but on the mandolin, you can sort of mimic it. You can go... Right, so that's just basically alternating between those two bar chords I just showed you, right? You can slide that one, though, from the C a little bit. See, I'm sliding it slightly at the end there, kind of mimicking his uh, slide guitar. So, I'm just doing that B flat chord kind of as a, as a hammer on. Like that. All right, and after that he goes, Right, that's pretty simple. All right, so that's just your second fret of the D string up to the fifth fret. And then 
then back to that C note there, the fifth fret of the G string. So it's just. So it's just. Right, so. Like that, so just two. So just those those three notes there, the second fret, fifth fret, second fret, and fifth fret again. All right, so one more time from the beginning of the solo. That's it, those two notes. Then he goes to a really cool chord. Is like a a dominant seventh voicing here, uh, C C dominant seven voicing there, I believe, or maybe it's yeah, it's a C dominant seven like that. Okay, so that's the second fret here of your uh, D string, and then the first fret of the A string there. Okay, and he just hammers it, right? He just he just hits that a few times, just that one dominant seven voicing over the C. It works really nicely over that C chord, all right? So again, for after you do, right? And then he goes, okay? And you can also play it here, which is your ninth fret and your eighth fret, I believe, right? It's five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Ninth fret and eighth fret on the G and the D string there. But I prefer to grab it right here. Second fret and first fret, right down there. Okay, and so it's like this, twice. Then he does a little, so that's from the first fret to the third. And bend it a little bit if you can. Right, so he goes. So he actually does that three times, right? And on the third one, he goes to back to the C. So one, three, one, five. And then finally, it's just, so again, it's using that B flat chord and hammering it on back from the C and then catching that first fret on the D string, which is a really nice flatted third on the C. So. And then back to that lick again, right? So fifth fret bar, third fret bar, and open. So one more time through the solo. Now to the dominant seven. switching chords, you're going to the F chord, and Billy Gibbons does a really simple little... All right, so that's just over an F chord to C. So the F pattern goes... So that's just three, one, three, one on your D string and just, and he goes down to here. So three, one, five, three, fives. Back, so that's your C note there, right? So that's when they change chords back to the C, but then to the F. And you just wanna listen to the original track to see how he does that, right? He's just going, And he really kind of lingers on that flatted third there on the first fret and then back to. And then. And you're back into the main riff 
once again. All right, that is it. That is Sharp Dressed Man by ZZ Top for mandolin, a really fun song and really not that difficult. Even the solos are manageable. If you want to get into soloing for the first time, learn some Billy Gibbons stuff. It's fairly basic, but lots of fun. Thanks very much for watching this video and thanks very much once again for tuning into RPM. Don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button if you're new. And if you are a returnee, thanks very much for coming back, but check out all those links down below. Great stuff down there for you to, uh, well, to help yourself and to help the channel again. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks again for watching RPN.